All right, YouTube, this is um, a video on a 2017 F450 Platinum. Um, I wanted to do a video, because um, all the videos I've seen on these trucks are the uh, salesman dealership type thing. So I wanted to give you guys a real world, you know, user point of view. Uh, I've had the truck for about two weeks, um, three weeks maybe and it got about 800 miles on it so far and um, uh, absolutely love it. Um, because this is the Platinum, it's got the satin grill and then it's got the LED headlights. Um, the low beam, the high beam, and the fog lights are all LED and um, I'm a big light person. I do a lot of mountain driving, um, lots of animals. Um, and so I always upgrade my headlights to HIDs or LEDs and uh, big fan of rigid lights and these lights are amazing um so i don't think i'll be doing any upgrades to the lights they're they're pretty ridiculous the other things i've done is i've done the tires um i went with a toyo 608 t uh because the continental tires um they're just a cheap tire um i did jump up to a 245 these come stock with a 225 so I went a little bit bigger um and then siped the center of the tread um, as advised from my tire dealership. Um, so some things uh, that we've done so far is the tires, uh, we tinted the front two windows, and then we did the spray and bed liner, the Linex spray and bed liner, and they did an amazing job. Uh, very impressed. The last time I got a new truck, I had the dealership do a spray and bed liner, and it took me about uh, an hour worth of scraping the gooseneck prep package hookups on it and I was not happy about it. Um, I use a razor blade and scrape them all out. So um, wanted to do, you know, kind of give everybody an overview. So the Platinums come stock with the power running boards. So that's new for this year. So they have the power running boards. Um, we'll go over the interior stuff here in a little bit. Um, but uh, uh, they did a lot. This is a whole new design and been happy with it. So I just want to let you guys kind of check it out. Um, uh, what they've done. I've got a toolbox to put in it. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet um, Mud flaps aren't available yet. In fact, I'm a little frustrated. There's things like mud flaps floor mats uh, the trailer camera system uh, My dealership says that they are unavailable um, You can't get them from anywhere yet. They don't even have part numbers. So a little frustrated um, Truck does sit seems to be about three inches taller than uh, the 2016s um, uh, so that's, that's significant. The truck is just a beast. Uh, one thing that was pretty impressive is the, uh, the turning. My 16, I had a 16 one ton dually. Um, it only turned about 35 degrees on the front tires. This one does 45. So as long as of a truck as it is, um, it is impressive as to how sharp it'll turn. Um, I got it, the gooseneck prep package and the fifth wheel prep package, all that stuff on this one because um, I've got both. I've got a gooseneck trailer and a flatbed trailer. Uh, something that I learned, uh, they brag and talk about the um, the uh, blind spot monitoring and all that for the trailer. Um, if you guys were wondering, it does not work on gooseneck or fifth wheel hitches. Um, if it's that type of trailer, when you tell your truck what kind of trailer it is, that kind of stuff will not work. The, the blind spot monitoring on the trailer. Now obviously it'll work on the truck. Um, it, it disables it when you hook it up, when you hook up a trailer. It disables those things. It disables the, the um, all those things. The tire pressure monitoring and stuff on the trailer, um, whenever that stuff comes out, I'm gonna try it and see on one of my trailers. Um, it seems like a good feature, but uh, it's not available according to my dealership. Um, uh, what else about it that I've learned? Um, the truck does not have tire pressure monitoring. I don't know if it's because of the 19.5s or it's a dually, I'm not sure, but um, the, the tire pressure monitoring on the truck is not available at this time. Um, let's go a little bit on the interior stuff. So we'll talk about some stuff I've learned there. So um, interior, uh, yeah, everything's different. They changed a lot of things. This does have the, the massage seats and it's not really so much as a massage. It's more of a, um, anti fatigue seat <laughs> I guess is the lack of the best term I could come up with um, so it's um, 
it just kind of inflates air bladders uh, under under your butt and in your lower back basically just to you know when you're sitting for a long time um, it is cool the kids love the twin panel moonroof uh, that's pretty amazing um, I'm a big fan of where they move the upfitter switches up to the um, center console up above your head a um, uh, couple things we figured out because this has a key fob um, I, I'm a big fan of you know if I need to run in the bank or uh, whatever I'll leave my truck running if the kids are in it or you know whatever I need to run a convenience store but I'd take my key fob with me and my other trucks and lock it well I can't do that in this one because it um, uh, <laughs> it's funny when you when the key fob is out of the vehicle and you shut the door it honks the horn twice so that's something that um, just so everybody knows I've looked there's no way around it currently um, short of leaving the key fob uh, either in the truck or um, you deal with the honking <laughs> so it's kind of annoying but um, we'll start it off here's a lot of things that are that are different um, uh, it, there's just so many features it's hard to cover everything but um, big fan uh, it, it's been very impressive uh, so far towing um, I haven't towed anything crazy heavy yet 20,000 like that um, but uh, yeah been impressive the sync 3 works very well uh, I've been pretty happy with that. Um, something else I figured out. Oh, something I did figure out is the tailgate. Uh, let's go talk about the tailgate. And I'm a little all over the place. I'm not a professional at this stuff. But the tailgate, there is no handle on the tailgate. So it's just a push button. And what I figured out the hard way is the doors have to be unlocked for the tailgate to drop, which is nice. So when you lock your truck, the tailgate's locked. Um, but you can remotely open it from inside, um, push a button in the cab, and the tailgate will drop if it's unlocked. Or B, if you come to the back of the truck and you have your key fob on you, you can drop it because it's just a push of a button. So reach underneath there, it's kind of a button under there, and it'll drop. But if your key fob's in the truck, and because the weather's nasty and you shut your door, um, but you leave the key fob in the truck so it doesn't honk at you, um, then you won't be able to drop your tailgate if the doors are locked. So it's kind of a goofy deal, but you can you can drop the tailgate with your um, with your key fob, which is pretty cool, um, kind of handy um, if your arms are full or you know hooking up to a trailer, gooseneck, whatever. Um, the lights in the bed. There's the on-off switch right there. Um, the daytime doesn't do these things justice. It is amazing how bright the bed of this truck gets with the um, with the lights on. Um, tailgate step, awesome, uh, big fan because it's not here any longer. Uh, the handle and everything was there, made the tailgate uneven, kind of a pain in the butt. But the tailgate step, push the button, bring it out, and then just drop it. And then the handle is here. You can stand it up. And that's the, the new tailgate step, which is pretty legit. Um, one thing, we'll put this down and away. Um, one thing that is new with the 2017s is, um, just a second, the hitch. The hitch is three inch receiver now. So if you didn't know that, um, so the hitch is now rated at 21,000 pounds on a bumper pull uh, with that hitch with the correct setup, the right stinger in it. Um, Back to the inside here again. I'm jumping all over the place, but just kind of some things that I've learned. Um, again, been very happy. Um, there's something um, else that somebody wants to know about. Um, put it in the comments below, and I'll uh, I'll do a video on that. Um, that way, try to answer some questions because I did a ton of research. The dealers, the salesmen, really didn't know a whole lot about them, um, and you know they're learning because everything's new. But I've been using it, been towing trailers with it, and uh, I might be able to help answer some questions. Uh, it's a lot of money to spend, and uh, you know, kind of some things you should know before you know uh, you get into it. But been very, very, very happy with the truck. It's gorgeous. Get lots of compliments on it. Um, yeah. So comments below. If you uh, have any questions, and I'll see if I can do a video to get them answered for you. Yeah, that should be it. Thanks, guys.